Hey YouTube, welcome to a new video. I'm Philip Jacob and you're watching Metal Beings. On today's video, we are going to be seeing the Skoda Octavia VRS. I just wish you knew. Straight away while checking out on the engine bay, we have the engine which is a 2 litre petrol engine which is also turbocharged, produces 230 bhp and 350 newton meters on torque. And as for ARAI, this engine is told to put out a mileage figure of 14.5 kilometers per litre, which is absolutely crazy for a VRS. So Skoda has given some beautiful cars for us in the market, the VRSs, you have the first one which came as Octavia VRS and then we had the Laura VRS and the last one which it has provided us right now in the Indian market is this Skoda Octavia VRS. So straight away let's go through the exterior characteristics of this car. As you can see you have these beautiful headlamps which has this split design on them. Looks absolutely amazing and the iconic grills of Skoda. You also have the VRS badging, if you have heard it before, it is Victor Ali Sport. You have the Skoda logo on top. You have this VRS bumpers, which also accommodates the LED lamps in them. It also has the sensors and everything for the practicality part. And while checking the side profile of the car, we have these beautiful rims, which are the Lenzo wheels. They have the 18 inch alloy wheels in this, which has a tire profile of 235-40R18. So the owner has upgraded to these wheels which looks absolutely brilliant on this car. You have the mirrors with the indicators incorporated into them. You have the blackened roof which also has a sunroof out there. The signature design of a Skoda from the side profile which has a beautiful character lines on the sides. And while checking out on the rear you have the signature Skoda look again at the rear. You have the Skoda badging on the left and the Octavia badging on the right with the logo in the middle. This spoiler does give a good look for this vehicle and also a little bit of practicality. You have the tail lamps and the bumpers which incorporates the sensors in them and these beautiful exhaust tips. Yes, again my favorite part, the exhaust noise would be coming once we are driving this vehicle. And while checking out on the boot, this is where this car shines and tells I am practical too. You have this huge boot space. You can also fold them down by using these handles out over here. And practicality wise, you also have these hooks and lots of hooks here and there to have some stuff hanged. <laughs> and you also have this spare wheel inside. This space is managed so well. Like the party trick is that you also have this glass which opens. So there is huge amount of space. You can fold down these seats and people can sleep over here. That's how good this boot space is. And also this is pretty heavy. This shows the quality of the vehicle. Very practical car too. So let's go into the car and check how this car feels from the inside. So while checking out on the seats, you have this black and red combination on them. You have the VRS badging on this, a beautiful material, which is very soft and comfortable. You have the stitching on them, which does give a good look. And also you have the bolster support and a good amount of thigh support also. Let's have a seat and check how it feels. So right now we are seated inside the Skoda Octavia VRS and this steering is beautiful. You have this flat bottom over here. You have the VRS badging. You have the controls on the left and right. You have the paddle shifters. As you should know, this is having a DSG gearbox. You have the beautiful instrument cluster which has a proper analog cluster in it and also a small practical information which is displayed out over there in digital. This is absolutely cool. I want this place to be like this. You need an analog and a little bit of digital. Yes. And as you can see on the side, you have the AC vents on the top and you have the whole console, which has a beautiful screen out over here. You have the air conditioning system. You have a small space over here. You have the gear engager out over here. You have a few cup holders. You have this handrest, which can be opened, which also has a practical space. 
a beautiful space to be in and also it has some ambient lightings on the door panels you also have this carbon fiber kind of a finish on the door pads this looks absolutely amazing and the seat belts red ones absolutely cool so now let's check out the rear of vrs with so much of space four people can have fun in this car as you can see i have seated it is kept for my driving style this front seat and as you can see i still have some knee room out over here i have the ac vents i have usb ports out over here and a small space too very practical space and as you can see i have a decent amount of headroom too this place is comfortable the doors you also have the vrs badging out at the rear seats too so it's not just the driver who will be having fun he can take few people along with him and still have fun in this car so right now is the time i've been waiting for to drive this beautiful beast so we are just going to a place where there are some good roads as usual i am in few bad roads so yes this is a place where i can talk to you guys about the practicality part about this car so yes this car's steering wheel first point is smooth it's absolutely smooth uh i need to check how it is when you are going a little bit fast but if you are using it as a daily then in traffic conditions and all i think it's a piece of cake to drive this car this steering wheel is absolutely damn smooth i should say it's really nice to drive this car and suspension wise again it's got a very good and comfortable and also firm suspension in this pretty good out over here like we had some really bad potholes and speed breakers over here and still it does do a good job man i feel so bad why these roads are like this over here anyways that's the only way you can talk about the suspension right so yes and uh, this car is one of my friends so again he called up and he gave me a chance to review this car He's actually going in front. He also has this Skoda Lora 1.8 TSI, which I'll also be driving in a while. So yes. So let's go ahead, find some open roads, and then I'll catch you guys. So yes, we have just found some open roads, and still trying to go without some traffic and stuff like that. This car is amazing, man. like i just got some places where i could step the foot on it and it was amazing and it was amazing trust me it it has a small like when the gear changes right that's like frack, that's on sound in that i don't know how far you guys will be able to hear it inside the car but then damn it is amazing in this car so seats are damn comfortable like it's so cozy i can keep driving for kilometers and kilometers in this car so yes i'm having a speed breaker over here and after that i might be able to have a pull let's go oh my god wow oh man this car is awesome ah uh, Whoa. This car is killer dude it's killer it is an abs <laughs> You can see the joy in my face right Yes I just can't express how good this car is It's it's smooth. You have this dual clutch transmission in this car. It just kicks in at the right time, and the exhaust is tuned so well. You have it's smiled. It's good, and also especially when the gear changes, right? There is a fart. Then the gear changes. That fart. <laughs> Absolutely cool, man. Absolutely cool car. You guys need to experience something like this. Thanks, thanks to God to giving me this chance. <laughs> Seeing this car. 
is pretty rare too like the car's value has been keeping up for a very long time right now and uh, like there were oddly just around 200 cars which were on sale and after that they increased the pricing so after that people didn't buy much but this car was a value for money at 2017 and 2018 and all this car is amazing guys okay look at the owner go <laughs> <laughs> that guy also drives awesome, you know? I'll see you guys in that car. So right now, we are in his Skoda Lora 1.8 TSI. And this car also is tuned and everything like that. Let's go, there is some open road, I don't want to leave it. Oh damn. The braking is too good, like he's upgraded the brakes, the engine, he's done a little bit of tuning onto this car. Oh man, I don't know if you guys can hear the sound, but it's amazing. So he just told why don't you drive this car also and see. I was like, why not? Why would I lose an opportunity to drive <laughs> such beautiful cars, right? So yes, so right now I am inside the Laura. If the video is bad, I'm sorry, it's just held on to the steering wheel. Let's go. <laughs> this car. He's got the sweetest cars, you know, like you can have fun with these cars all day, every day. It's early in the morning and still there is traffic. Why Bangalore? Why? But still, you, you can see the smile on my face, right? That is what these cars do. You have this joy when you drive these cars and when you have it for your liking, right? That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> I think you guys also would like to see these kind of stuff, right? Weekend, early in the morning, two fun cars, one nice chai and you end up driving like this for the whole day. Gonna have a pull, okay? Just when this auto leaves, we will. Let's go! more and more these kind of cars so right now i'm seated with my friend arjun over here who lended me his cars to drive so let's just talk to him What's hi arjun so tell me when did you buy these cars uh so the journey started actually with a mark one okay um, got it uh, from Delhi in fact and uh, try to mechanically fix it the car was alright mechanically electronically these cars tend to you know have a 
let's just say a life where they start you know then they have an afterlife and afterlife <laughs> is basically everything you know failing on you okay and uh, that became like a nightmare for me but mm-hmm. uh, in the meantime i was like okay let me just upgrade what i was currently driving i was driving a fortuner so okay. it wasn't uh, making any practical sense for me because i wasn't doing the long uh, road trips mm-hmm. suspension end of the day uh, all toyota fans know offense but <laughs> it, it is a body on roll you know it, it's it's not that practical uh, it wasn't practical for me to have especially in a city like bangalore mm-hmm. and uh, my one heart like obviously went towards the vrs and okay. looked for one got one luckily uh-huh. uh, it was owned by uh, by uh, somebody who actually did not fully understand what a vrs was just like that it was this color and literally went and bought it and uh, it was good 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 experience and so then so as you mentioned he did yeah. not even use the sport mode right yeah so sport mode was something he never even realized he thought it was like something where he used in the hills or something where you know for cornering I, I don't even know what the explanation he was able to try to tell me so and then i tell him that this was regarding sport mode okay and i didn't floor it in front of him but i was very happy deep down inside that nothing was done to the car so yeah a very very good car to have especially in today's world like the prices that are going on right now obviously these cars are limited but mm-hmm. if you do come across a good maintained one that price if you ping a little extra i think it's worth it it's bang for buck compared to whatever again in the market right now true true and very limited cars yeah very limited cars so that led me to also selling the mark 1 uh then there was like an itch again that you know i want something manual and luckily through a friend who really maintained this car really, really well mm-hmm. this came through Okay. And uh, yeah, grateful to have these two cars now. Is this in pure enthusiast garage? You know, like something I can daily drive and something that can really put a smile on my face and challenge a couple of cars. Obviously, <laughs> take a few with the VRS. I can, you know, it keeps up to a lot of cars. And mm-hmm. here also, I'm just trying to see how I can really make this a very good example. For, true. You know, car true. enthusiast car that yes, you can do this to it. That is true. So, yeah. so any other additions coming up? Yeah, let's see something fun, uh, <laughs> something four wheel drive. Hopefully, uh, so all wheel drive. Okay. Uh, Quattro. So let's just see something fun. It's a good upgrade from the VRS. Okay. I will keep the VRS though, but mm-hmm. uh, let's see something fun, something fast. Uh, I also want to like now, you know, take it to the next. So hopefully, I'll get to drive that also. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Like, let's see how things work out. It's going great. I mean, touch wood. Now, just growing it slowly. The garage. uh it's practicality end of the day i don't look at things that are you know uh, i can really drive it on the sunday or i have to wait for no traffic or yeah. at night uh i i feel that that cuts the essence of even the soul of the car you know it wants to be throttled out True. and you just have to find opportunities you know and uh, luckily touch wood god's grace you know these cars are here and uh, just want to keep growing it that's the idea awesome awesome so yes i also want to thank him from the bottom of my heart for letting me drive these beautiful cars so yes guys so that's it from me i'll see you guys in another video with another car i hope you guys like this video please do like share and subscribe i'll see you guys later bye bye